It's generating buzz around the world, nuclear energy to power homes and businesses. Construction of the first uranium enrichment facility on U.S. soil in decades is now underway in New Mexico. There were, however, some significant challenges that had to be overcome before the project got too far down the road. A job of this magnitude would stretch the resources of any contractor if it could be handled by one at all. The remote location also puts the issue of qualified manpower front and center. The solution? The formation of a unique partnership between three NECA contractors and the long arms of the IBEW's talent pool. Electric TV's Naomi Binkley has more. Hi, Naomi. Hi, Allison. We are all too familiar with the high energy costs right now, but people are again starting to look to nuclear power as a way to help solve our energy problems. This is what a uranium fuel pellet looks like. This one pellet provides as much energy as 149 gallons of oil, a ton of coal, or 17,000 cubic cubic feet of natural gas. Just five of these can meet a home's electric demands for an entire year. That's why there's so much at stake in building the facility that will provide fuel to generate these pellets. This is a big deal. It's a big deal from my heart. It's a big deal from, from a business standpoint. But it's so much more than that. It, it's about the people involved. And it's truly monumental. It's a $1.5 billion construction project, the first nuclear enrichment plant built in America since the 1970s. When word spread that the site would sprawl across the New Mexico oil patch, you can bet NECA contractors wanted in on the action. A project like this hasn't been done for the last three decades, last 30 years. So I think we, we've, we've built something here to come into this re-emerging um, energy source and uh, if, if, if NECA and the IBEW are going to survive in this market where the non-union have really come on a lot stronger, we're going to have to be open and we're going to have to think of ways that, that we can make it work. And they did. NECA contractors Prime Electric, Rosenden Electric, and Budwine Service Electric each bid on the project. But the bonding and labor challenges of this job would require more. So the three companies did something rather unprecedented. It was an effort to get three you know, independent uh, NECA contractors together on this. And uh, you know, for them to, to, to bond together as one and be one entity, Trico Power, was, it was an amazing feat in itself, and it's working out well. It's working real well. Prime Electric, Rosenden, and Budwine joined forces to form Trico Power, a move that won the bid for the National Enrichment Facility Project. It has set the precedent for thinking of a new way of coming together to obtain a market share um, in, in, in our business. That you can take three uh, very experienced, successful companies that have the ingenuity and interest to coming together to form a company called Trico, three different companies, and um, do work on our site as if they had been working together for years. This type of alliance is familiar to the plant's parent company, Urenco. It created a partnership called Louisiana Energy Services, or LES, for the enrichment plant project. We're just glad that they're here really are. They're a great company and a great corporate neighbor. LES has definitely been part of the community. Uh, they have really set uh, the example as far as corporate partnership and being a good uh, uh, partner in the community. The National Enrichment Facility is fueling a uranium boom in this remote region. The plant is being built just outside of Eunice in southeast New Mexico. The project demanded economic development in an area of about 2,700 people. Well, I think it's the only way to do business. One of the biggest advantages that nuclear has, if you look at whether it's this facility or a nuclear power plant, 90% of the dollars spent are usually spent within 150 miles of the project itself. And that's what makes communities so supportive. What they really wanted was recruitment from the local area, from the Carlsbad, Eunice, and West Texas area. 
Trico and the IBEW mined the region for talented electricians and recruited them onto the project. The advanced job training the IBEW is known for and its focus on productivity are already being recognized on this site. Local 611 is leading the charge. For the best electrical labor force that you can find in the United States, that can be supplied by IBEW. These people are sophisticated, they know what they're doing, they've got a good plan together. Every indication is that they're meeting and exceeding not only your schedule, but also your engineering requirements. Roughly 500 union electricians are providing temporary and eventually permanent power to this site. Safety here is paramount. Safety to us is a commitment. It's a value. It's a value in the way we do business. We have a million and a half man hours without a lost time injury at all. Conditions out here are often harsh. We have actually had to shut the job down three times on account of the wind blowing the sand so hard that you could not see. Despite the challenges, the drive and craftsmanship of the IBEW mean this project is nearly three weeks ahead of schedule. Production is expected to start late next year, even as construction continues another six to seven years. Once complete, this plant is projected to domestically produce enough nuclear energy to meet 5% of America's power demands. It is presently the lowest cost way of generating electricity on a large scale. It's come a long way in the last 30 years, coming from the highest cost generation to the lowest cost generation. Number two, it has an impeccable safety record not just from a um, reactor safety standpoint, but also from an industrial safety standpoint. And number three, it is the um, best way to make electricity and minimize the impact on the environment. The work that we're doing here is, is starting the, the renaissance of nuclear power in the United States once again. The resurgence of nuclear energy in the United States, it is an opportunity to grow the ranks of the IBEW and showcase its reputation of pride and professionalism. It's also empowering NECA contractors that pool resources. From a business standpoint, the NECA contractors, uh, it makes excellent sense to them. It's very profitable for them. From the IBW standpoint, it's a win situation. From a customer standpoint, it's an excellent opportunity to get the best of the best. The Trico partnership is taking the commitment of NECA contractors and the IBEW to the next level. It is becoming a blueprint for business success. It is monumental for the country because you won't build these kinds of projects without it. There is a lot of excitement around this project, Alice, and you can really feel the coming together of everyone involved. Well, and certainly being three weeks ahead of schedule speaks to just how well they've come together for that customer. Great story, Naomi. Thanks so much. Thank you. Meeting the labor needs of tomorrow is the subject of focusing on the future. That's up next on ETV. Our world runs on electricity and information technology, and we make it happen. From skyscrapers to space, from concept to completion, we build electrical and high-tech information systems that energize our existence. The IBEW NECA team.